guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back, welcome back uh, to another episode here. Uh, just let me, uh, just got a whole bunch of things. I've been doing some research, guys. I've been doing some research. I checked my analytics, and uh, did you know that, that, that there are subscribers, all you guys from all over the world? And uh, I was checking, and there's quite a few uh, subscribers. Quite a few of you are from Poland. Yeah, Poland. Can you believe it? Uh, because Polish people are intrinsically uh, uh, intelligent, uh, being from Europe, uh, they speak multiple languages, and almost everyone in Poland speaks English, so they watch uh, Klaus Kellerman videos. Can you believe that? Unlike North Americans who are intrinsically uh, stupid and only speak English, uh, some of us from the southern United States and east coast of Canada even speak English poorly. Uh, Whereas Europeans speak multiple languages uh, very well. But that's besides the point. So, hey, shout out to all you guys from Poland for watching. And I thought, well, why the hell? Why don't I play some Polish tanks? I had no desire to grind another line. But I thought, well, I got this test account. Why don't I try some Polish tanks? Uh, to, you know, shout out to Poland. See what it's all about. And uh, let me tell you, Polish people have big guns. Uh, I, I mean, the uh, Polish tanks. Uh, they've got uh, big guns, these these tanks I've played. And, well, I skipped Tier 1 through 7, because who gives a flying fuck, really? And uh, I didn't play Tier 8, because all Tier 8 tanks suck, because you get to fight 9s and 10. So I thought, well, why not play the, the Tier 9 and the Tier 10? And let's watch some gameplay here. Well, I, I'm going to give a shout-out to Paul. I'm going to tell you a lot of things about Poland. But just to start, uh, the things you got to know about the Polish tanks are... Uh, when the Russian number generator says that uh, you're going to win, uh, you usually win. Uh, so, you know, like if you poke around and take a shot and just hit and go through the turret of one of the most heavily armored medium tanks, then you'll win. But if it decides to say, you know, fuck you, you will lose. Um, what else? Uh, if you've got lots and lots and lots of Muppets on the enemy team, you'll win. And if you have lots and lots of Muppets on your team, uh, you'll lose, uh, technically. And, uh, but the, uh, the, the key thing is uh, is the Russian number generator. Like if you shoot the turret of a T-54, most heavily armored tank, you snap, it goes right in. But if you carefully aim at a weak turret like this Progetto, uh, no, no fun for you! So uh, it, uh, it's basically all about the Russian number generator, but uh, we're talking about Poland here. So let's get into some Polish stuff. And uh, uh, what, what was it? Did, what's this tank even? The the 50 TP, and then they got a 60 TP and a 40. Polish people have this love-hate relationship with names. I've uh, determined. Um, there are a lot of famous Polish people uh, that you probably don't know because anyone who starts becoming famous and is Polish changes their name, and so they have these weird names. Like for example, uh, did you know that Pat Benatar was Polish? Uh, but she originally, before she was famous, her name was Patricia Andrzejewski. That's right. Jack Benny was also Polish. Nobody knows that because his, his real name was Benny uh, Ku Kubelski. And then he changed it to Jack Benny and became a comedian. Nobody knows that Charles Bronson, that tough motherfucker, was Polish. Uh, especially, he was called Charles uh, Baczynski. Uh, no one knew who the fuck he was. He changed his name to Charles Charles Bronson, and ho ho, let me tell you. Uh, well, ho, what's some other famous Polish people? Let's come on. Shout out to Poland here. We're gonna do the Polish thing. Roman Polanski is the only guy, famous Polish guy, that did not change his name. He was an actor. No one knows who the fuck he was. He should have changed his name, but he didn't. Angelique Kerba is uh, a famous Polish. Uh, uh, tennis star. Well, she's not really a star. She's actually not very good, but she's the best looking. Of and she doesn't grunt when she hits the ball. She's not like some of those Americans. You're know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like every shot, fucking annoying. Uh, who else? Frederick Chopin is one of the most famous composers ever, right? But weird. We call him Chopin, but he uh, spells his name Chopin. I don't get it, but uh, whatever. Mary Curie was the first woman ever to win a Nobel uh, Prize, and she was Polish. And I'm, I'm not kidding about that. She was. Uh, 
Oh, who else? Who's some, some other famous Polish people? Uh, can I think of... I took some notes. There's a guy here, John Paul. He's Polish, apparently. Oh, he's the Pope. Yeah. Um, and he's Polish. How the hell? I thought they were all Italian, but I guess not. I guess not, right? Uh, just, there's another... Rox, Roxaris. Roxaris uh, is this the really, really popular YouTube star uh, from Poland. And she has more subscribers than me. Can, like, how the fuck? But I guess there's a lot of pe Polish people that watch her and probably um, uh, other people from other places. Right? You never know. I don't know. I don't know anything about her. But she's Polish. She's famous. Who are some other famous Polish people? I Google searched famous Polish people. One of the most famous Polish people, uh, you probably all know, is Furious Pete. And uh, he is a competitive eater. Uh, he can eat uh, quickly and more than most people, and which is a, apparently a <coughs> an important skill in Poland. They like to eat. And um, uh, I just got killed there by an invisible... Um, Russian medium tank. Uh, so I said, screw that, let's play the tier 10, which is the 60 TP instead of the 50 TP. I think the TP has to do with uh, the tons. TP is Polish ton or <clears throat> something like that. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to tell you when I do these reviews, uh, I, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the tanks? Let me, uh, uh, they're big, they're slow, they have big guns. Uh, and they have a lot of armor, except for the weak spots. Uh, but if you can't... Oh, yeah. If you have no interest in playing these tanks, uh, I can show you how to take them out on the battlefield. Uh, any Polish tank, if you encounter it, and you don't want to get, like, bounce your shots, you want to take them out on the battle. You bounce a couple of shots, and this is all you got to do. You ready? There you go. That's how you take them out on the battlefield. Right. If you didn't get that, let me uh, show it to you again more slowly so that you'll understand. Okay, so we got it now. We got the, uh, 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 the, the Russian number generator. Uh, how to take them out on the battlefield. Uh, if you have a lot of Muppets on your team, you'll lose. And if there's a lot of Muppets on the enemy team, they'll lose. There you go. That's everything you need to know. So let's get back to shouting out Poland. Not in my 60 TP, that tier 10 Polish heavy tank. Uh, which is, you know, basically this is an E100, but squished. Squish down flatter uh, with a stronger turret. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Uh, but so the, it's better than the E100 because it's Polish and it's not German, right? <laughs> you ever thought of that? Okay, what, what is, let's, there's some fantastic. This is a shout out to Poland, by the way. I love everyone from Poland and all you guys that have subscribed from Poland. Shout out to Poland! And we're going to go through some of the things that you did not know. Uh, from Poland while well, you watch me play like a Muppet uh, and I'll show you a game from someone who knows what he's doing playing against a team of Muppets uh, so that he wins and then you'll you know get really get the feel for how this tank performs on the battlefield but Poland is known uh, apparently for having some of the prettiest girls in the world uh, I kid you not I've read that uh, the men are ugly as fuck but the women and I've, I've scrolled through uh, about a dozen pictures, and let me tell you, they're pretty good looking. Um, I have yet to find a country that's known for its good looking men. Uh, most countries claim to have the best looking women, but when I looked at the pictures from Poland, I gotta say, you ugly guys out there, you are lucky living in Poland with all those beautiful women running around. Poland uh, has... Um, the most unpronounceable city names in the world. Uh, like, uh, for instance, uh, Ryanair and uh, uh, Bidgoschis and Rzizaso and Shizenchen, uh, eh? which no one can pronounce. So everyone that visits Poland that has a map that tries to figure out where he has to go or asks for directions is always lost. Because no one can fucking pronounce anything in Poland. Uh, but they can in Polish, but, but not in English or I don't know. But uh, 
it, 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 Poland has the EU's best lake system, the most, uh, it's called the uh, uh, Masurian Lakeland, which is uh, this 180 mile area with 2,000 lakes in it that they all like to go. Uh, it's crowded as hell because there's only 2,000 lakes. Uh, uh, in Canada, I, we have 2,000 lakes just down the road from where I live. Uh, kind of, no one talks about it because there's more lakes everywhere else. But, uh, but in Poland, 2,000 lakes is a lot. And um, there's a lot of people with boats, I guess. But uh, I don't know whether the lakes are polluted or not. But they're, they're, they've got a lot of them, more than most places. Um, Polish people are very, very proud of their food. They have some of the most amazing food. You can go into a restaurant in Poland. And, for instance, if you're a foreigner, I'm going to give you some tips here. You go in a restaurant, you say, <clears throat> I'd like to start with the bigosh. Uh, with a little rosat on the side and um, uh, then I'm gonna have a, a plate of uh, lasanki uh, but don't skip out on the uh, grochowka yeah? and have a few pierogies throw those in the food in Poland world-renowned uh, but uh, uh, incidentally uh, and nobody knows this that Poland is the home of the cheapest uh, Big Mac you can buy in the world. The price of a Big Mac in Poland is cheaper than anywhere in the world. I kid you fucking not. Uh, it's three times cheaper uh, than the Big Mac in Switzerland. <laughs> so fuck you. Well, I think it's because they can't sell those Big Macs there. Nobody likes them. Nobody eats them because they got all that other stuff. You know, the the lasanki, the grochowka, the risotto, the, the bagosh. Like like who the fuck would want a Big Mac? Let, forget about watching me play. Let's watch uh, Alex the Assassin here. He's going to play his, this the tier 10 and illustrate <clears throat> how this thing really works. Uh, and he is going to be blessed with having to fight a team of a completely useless, uh, incompetent Muppets that like to sit in front of him sideways so he can shoot them with his gun that does 750 uh, damage and then continue to sit size with it. and then you know he's gonna get a lot of damage and I could have used this one as the sales pitch but this will be the one in a thousand games where you face the incompetent Muppets and the Russian number generator is all good and and everything's honky-dory and we're gonna you know so screw that watch that and let's keep talking about Poland wh which is the home I'll have you know of the world's largest castle the world's largest castle uh, not the heaviest, uh, that is claimed as, uh, Romanians have claimed that, the heaviest building. But the, in Poland is where the largest castle is, and it's very large. I don't know how large it is, but <clears throat> uh, it's the largest, apparently. Uh, what else is good about Poland? Uh, they've, it's, they've got a lot of white sandy beaches, uh, three or four, I think. But if you're from California, like, who the fuck wants to see them? Right? <laughs> but they're there. Uh, they also have uh, great desserts in Poland. Like, holy shit. World-renowned uh, desserts like the famous candy bar, the, the Prince Polo, uh, which is a candy bar, and, uh, and the Tsatsi Malenko is another. Like, everyone, you know, mouth, mouths water around the world when they hear uh, Tsatsi Malensko, right? Oh, I could go for a Tsatsi Malensko right now. <clears throat> also, and I bet you people in Poland, if you're, I hope you're watching, I'd love to come and visit Poland one of these days too. Like, uh, I want to do so many things, but there's just not enough time. And I've seen the pictures and I've done all this research to learn about Poland and it looks like one of the most beautiful, colorful, just intoxicatingly, just mesmerizing cosmopolitan beautiful places i can't believe it but the, uh, if you're polish you probably don't even know that you have in poland uh the largest vegan population in the eu <laughs> california has more vegans but in the eu poland is on top right uh what do some polish people like to do what is like a, a hobby or the thing that that turns Polish people on. Uh, one thing that they like to do, and I've, I've read this in numerous websites, so it must be true. Uh, Polish people like to paint hard-boiled eggs. Um, 
with a lot of colors and patterns. Uh, and this is a skill that's uh, passed down through generations. And a lot of Polish people are very good egg painters. <clears throat> and I'm sure that, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of nice having uh, uh, colorful eggs in the house, you know, to look at. Uh, they also, uh, let, did I mention, the, oh, here, this is a good one. Poland has, they're the sixth the biggest beer drinkers in, uh, in the world. The Romanians were fifth. I know, they beat you. You're sixth. I mean, that's not very good, actually. Uh, you got to step it up. You don't actually drink too much beer there. Vodka is the big one, but the sixth biggest in um, uh, whatever, you know. They, uh, Poland has one of the, the only salt mines that you can visit because they ran out of salt and it's closed. But they didn't want to just, you know, say, fuck this. They turned it into kind of like a tourist attraction. It's uh, Wielikska, the Wielikska salt mine near uh, Krakow. Uh, and it's pretty nice. You can go there and there's lots of salt. And, uh, you know, you got to, uh, it's one of those, like, if you're a tourist, you got to pay to get in. And then you go down there and it's lots of, and then you go, oh, what's the big fucking deal? And then you leave. But, you know, it's, it's one of the only ones. Uh... Did I mention that the Big Macs are cheap? What else do we have here? Uh, uh, Chopin, I mentioned him. Pat Benatar. Oh! Oh, yeah. This is important because... Uh, and it's probably why Polish people... I have so many Polish subscribers. I've looked at my analytics and there's so many of you great Poles that have stepped up and subscribed. And I think this is it. Polish people are well known in Europe to uh, be the people that love to complain. They are the biggest complainers. Uh, and, and I mean that as a, as a compliment. Like if you ask a poll, uh, hi, how are you? They, no Polish person will say, uh, uh, I'm good. Or if you say, hello, how's your day? Uh, no Polish pe person will say, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, great. Uh, having a great day. Uh, you know, things are good. Bye. You know, like the polite uh, bullshit uh, greetings that we have in North America. Hey, how you doing? Great, great. How are you? How are the kids? Fine, fine. No, no. In Poland, it's hi. How are you doing? Uh, f the fucking hemorrhoids are acting up again. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, my back's been killing me. How are the kids? Kids, yeah, kids. Well, one of them's moved out, thank God. But the boy, the lazy bum, he still hasn't found a job. I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, yeah. Send them down to me. He can work at the docks loading boxes for me. I'll help you out. Anyway, hope the hemorrhoids uh, improve. See you later. Yeah, the only thing that'll improve the hemorrhoids is an extra shot of vodka before I go to sleep. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you too. That's the typical conversation in Poland. You know, no bullshit, complaining, honest complaining, hardworking, dedicated, family-oriented, loving, uh, polite, uh, inviting. And from what I've heard from people I've talked to who have been there, they will go out of their way to help you out as a stranger in their land, proud of their, viciously proud people. And I got to tell you guys, uh, finally you got the Polish, uh, who the fuck cares actually about the tank? Like, uh, whatever, you can look at the stats here. But Poland, shout out to everyone from Poland. I love you guys in Poland. One of these days, one of these days I'm going to do a Klaus Travels video where I, uh, uh, I'm going to visit Romania and Poland. I'm going to have to, like, probably visit a couple other places to make it worthwhile. Because, uh, I mean, other than the salt mine and those few lakes and uh, the candy bar, uh, you know, you got to make the trip worthwhile. But uh, shout out to everyone from Poland! I love you all.